All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight matchup between Tyron Woodley and Paul Felder. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the game. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. All right, so here's the former UFC welterweight champion. They also call him the chosen one, Tyron Woodley. Knocked out Robbie Lawler in 2016 to first win the belt, held it for several years, and still has the credentials as one of the best 170-pound fighters on this roster. A-plus athlete is Tyron Woodley. A guy that can explode into his strikes and into his takedowns like no one we've ever seen before. The way that he backpedaled and it knocked out Jay Heron was unbelievable. The way that he just flatlined Josh Koscheck was crazy. He has a right hand that you do not want to be on the receiving end of. Tyron Woodley is truly a special, special fighter. He has had some issues injury-wise with that right hand. He told us before the fight, 100% coming in tonight. When you punch that hard, John, you're, right. you're gonna have some problems with the right hand. I cannot speak to that, but I will <laughs> take your word for it. John's got power. A little power. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Woodley is three years his senior. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Paul the Irish Dragon Felder. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 7 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, do it by your So the fight is underway, we will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in the UFC career. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we could put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. All right, so he postures up.
up, and he's out. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Big punch lands over the south. How's it going to follow this? Woodley's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. And he landed the right hand there. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head, potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. The right hand just misses. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Felder's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. 90 seconds to go in our opening rounds. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Tyron Woodley. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Right hand punch with McClendon. Oh, and he connects there. Big head kick. Both guys landing with conviction now. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you would. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big kick lands. What a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. Well, you see all the graphic repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, so 43 total strikes have landed for the chosen one, Tyron Wood. Well, and you've got to admire the accuracy and the efficiency as well, landing at a 63% flip thus far against Paul Felt. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, close guard now. Got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. He got his bad! Gets up again here, but hurting. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Woodley gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Going to the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh! Oh! He just started looking to finish now because he's got his opponent who's very fast. Oh, he might be out. He's out! He's done, he's done. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So, back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly 
exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Going to win by knockout, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley. So the celebration is on with him and his team.